Among other topics, the International Year of Chemistry celebrates the life of Marie Skłodowska. That's Marie Curie. Curie won two Nobel Prizes in 1903 and 1911, the first person to do so for research on radioactivity. Curie actually coined that word, radioactivity. Next to Einstein, she may be the world's most famous scientist. Listen to one of Curie's thoughts. A scientist in the laboratory is like a child placed before natural phenomena which impresses like a fairy tale. Spellbound tells the story of scientists whose childhood curiosity about everyday things, Curie's natural phenomena, drew them into lifelong careers in the lab, leading to Nobel Prizes and other amazing achievements. We face concerns today about how to encourage children from diverse backgrounds into careers in the STEM fields. That's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The scientists in Spellbound are from diverse backgrounds. Their curiosity, mentors, role models, and other early childhood experiences may point to approaches that can be used today and tomorrow in encouraging young people into science. Young Ahmed Zawail could have been the model for Marie Curie's words. As a child, he was fascinated with the hows and whys of everyday things. Growing up in the 1950s in the city of Dusuk on the Nile River in Egypt, Ahmed's family encouraged that curiosity. One day, one of them did something that Zawail recalled right after winning the 1999 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. While he was still in elementary school, Ahmed's family put a special sign on the door where he studied. Uh, intellectual curiosity, intellectual achievement was, uh, was quite important. So to be a doctor, uh, it is a big achievement. And so uh, for some strange reason on my door, uh, even when I was uh, uh, you know, elementary school, it said Dr. Ahmed. Almost half a century later, Zawail did that Nobel Prize research. He pioneered femtochemistry. It's the study of ultra-fast chemical processes using special lasers. A femtosecond is one quadrillionth of a second. That's one millionth of one billionth of a second. His pioneering technique uses the world's fastest camera. It captures and freezes the motion of molecules and atoms as they undergo the reactions that produce gasoline, plastics, medicines, and generally make life possible. It's almost like a slow motion replay for chemical reactions. Zoel traces his quest to see how molecules and atoms behave to his very first experiment. Twelve-year-old Dr. Ahmed was fascinated at how matter could change from one form into another. Liquids evaporate into invisible gases. Gases condense into liquids. Solids heated in air disappear into flames. Young Ahmed read that solid wood heated without air changes into a flammable gas. So he decided to see it for himself. I got a uh, test tube filled it with some uh, uh, wood uh, pieces and, uh, and then I had a, uh, made a, uh, a, a right angle arm of a glass and uh, my mother used to make uh, the coffee on a, on a small uh, uh, flame. So I got this flame under the wood, burned the wood and then I saw the gas coming and I was so excited to light this gas and see light coming out. I was excited, but my mother was so concerned about this and she wasn't too happy, but uh, yeah, that was the first experiment I've ever done in my life, actually. That curiosity intensified as Zoel finished school in Egypt, came to the United States to study for his PhD, and continued down the path to that Nobel Prize. Throughout it all, he recalls one trait above almost everything else, critical for success in any career. I never met somebody who has achieved, either in the arts, in the sciences, in, in, uh, in business, in anything, that you don't have the passion for what you do. I just cannot see that somebody will succeed uh, in a significant way without this passion.